What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code CE-30017-1. So this error happens when you're trying to download another, like a game that you had initially, or it could be the first time, but mostly you had it before, you're trying to re-download it, let's just say COD, Hollow Knight, GTA, Roblox, right? What well, doesn't matter. You're just re-trying to download that game, and it doesn't download. So I'm going to show you what to do to fix it. There's a couple of things that you can actually do, and we're going to get right into this. The first thing is you want to go to settings, you want to go to account management, and you want to restore licenses a lot of times it might think like that game is actually not yours so doing this actually fixes a lot of those like licensing issues or like not recognizing issues so doing this will most of the time fix that issue for you so you can uh, either try it and then or read do this and try it if not re-download the game try this and then see if that works and helps fix it for you once you're done with this I'm going to actually move on to the next step to show you what else you can do outside of this to essentially fix this possible issue that you may be facing so let's just wait on it should be done soon one second left and all right so the next thing you can do is in here oh sorry in settings you want to go to storage and in storage itself you'll see there's there's usually a couple of things right when you actually go into system storage in there's like a something called like other <laughs> where it's essentially kind of like uh, what's the word I want to use like kind of wrongly stored there so there's a few ways to fix that you can go to your save data for the specific game that you're getting this error on go into that game's same data and you might see either a corrupted file here and you want to delete it if not see if you can find the game from applications like just called other as you can see over there right at the bottom that's the other I was talking about see if you can kind of go into there and delete it if not you might have to take the save data for that specific game or all the games upload it to PlayStation plus basically uh, you can do that from application save data management and you're gonna sadly have to reinstall everything you're gonna have to do like a factory reset onto the game to re-download everything to be able to play the game so if you can either find the save data that's corrupt delete that and then try to play the game or you might have to reinstall everything to be able to play the game because it's possible that the game got corrupted when you were downloading it the second time or it didn't delete properly the first time causing it to be saved in that other section causing this error to basically occur so yeah, those two or three things that I mentioned would be the only thing you can do to essentially fix this, to basically reinstall it or to do a factory reinstall. You can either do it from the settings itself, it's an initialization, or you can do it from safe mode, which is where I would recommend you do it from. I'll show you how to do I have a video on that, and I'll uh, leave a link in the description below where you guys follow that, or do it from there, basically. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys ever liked the video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and then I'll be out.